Out of the darkness shall arise a challenge to your wisdom. Solstice and the quest for the Staff of Demnos is ready to challenge you. Join Shaddix's quest as he searches through the deadly fortress of Castle Rock for the six pieces of the magical staff of Demnos in a brave attempt to rescue Princess Eleanor from the evil wizard Morbius the Malevolent. Unlike all other Nintendo video games, Solstice will keep you coming back for more puzzles and adventure time and time again. It's too hot to miss. Firstly, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Richard Kay, and I'm the director of Software Creations. It creates a unique Nintendo, Nintendo Entertainment System game. With our development team, which consists of Mike Webb, the programmer, Timothy Foley, the musician, and Mark Wilson, we have created a game which is totally unique to the Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, Mike, can you explain how the sources came around? Yeah. The game was um, originally designed to be a world all within itself, so that the player can do whatever he likes, um, he can manipulate things within the game, solve puzzles, um, he's not restricted on where he has to go, he can wander around, um, do really whatever he likes, and he's not the direction of the game is not fixed as with most games and hopefully people will enjoy playing this sort of game. Timothy, what part of the game, was it because the game was good, did that inspire you? Or? Well, the game's a very atmospheric game, so it demands atmospheric music as well as powerful music for the start of the game, the Titan series. So the game was a very inspiring game to do music for. Now I'd like to show you how Solstice was created and the tools that we used to develop the game. So my how, how long ago was uh, this version? This was um, about 18 months ago, um, just a couple of months into the project. I mean, did you know at this stage that the, the actual game would work, that the concept would work, or was uh, it still a bit doubtful no. then? At this stage, it was just testing ideas to see whether we could get things moving behind other objects and generally in a room type environment. And what, how long in time was this? How, how much after is this next? Um, this next version is um, another couple of months along. So um, what was different to this one than was on the last one? Well, as you can see, the walls have got more graphic. Mm. Um, so yeah, the problem with the colours there, the, the, yeah, the colours quite much, as you can uh, see. aren't the best chosen colour. Uh, the whole thing has been speeded up. So the stage here, you, 
from see you've got the first character and it's not like the final character at all, it's like a potato no, man. No, just, just a character that we were playing with. Um, you've got the, it seems, well, it seems to mask properly anyway now. Yeah, you see it goes, goes behind, behind things goes in front of. Yeah. You, oh. yeah, you can walk through things. things. You, did you manage to get it to jump at this point? Yeah, you can jump up. So, mate, at this stage now, the re this room looks different. Is this the final version, or we? Uh, this isn't the final version. It's quite close. The the final character's in there. Um, so you can go through doors. You can have yeah. a see what blocks you can walk. Yeah, you can have a play. So these these blocks here are. What are they? I mean, those are disappearing blocks. So what happens if I jump on those? If you what? jump on those, they disappear. Ah, so they disappear, so I now... This is very near finished. It was about this point that we uh, started thinking about music and sound effects. It seemed that you know at this point what music was going to go in. Did you have a feel of what was going to be? Well, the game was coming to come together, so the music was coming to come together. Oh, right. So you had ideas, sound effects. And yeah, what kind of atmosphere did you have in mind? Did you? It was a very kind of dark and castle atmosphere. So, Tim, these are the tools that you use for developing the music on Solstice. Yeah. So, Tim, this here, can you show me how you actually select the music and, and how it's actually worked then? Yeah, on the Nintendo selector, you use left and right to select the tune. So you did? You don't use use all this technical jargon more than using use, synthesizer. I don't use a keyboard or any of the tools. What's the reason for that? Just more flexibility on it? It gives you an um, uh, open, more open mind, I would say. Yeah, because it, so that's the reason... You're, you, you're thinking along the lines of the computer and not along the lines of a keyboard or uh, whatever instrument you use. Okay, so that's the reason why you reckon your music's better than anybody else? I don't reckon it's better. I do. Mm. It's good, it's very nice. It fits in well. Is this, this the atmosphere that you wanted in the game? Yeah. It's a dramatic start, and in game music is more of a sort of atmospheric thing. Yeah, because I noticed at the beginning you actually choreographed the music with the opening scene. Yeah. So, the version that we're seeing here is the final version that the, the public will be buying, and this, this is the final, final one. Yeah, this is the final one. Actually, so everything in here was sorted out, the music was in, all the final characters were drawn. All the yeah. backgrounds were drawn, all yeah. the maps and all the puzzles were there. Yeah, everything's in there. The items and blocks in a room can be picked up by jumping on them and then pushing the B button. The block can reappear below Shadax by pushing the B button again. The map keeps a chronicle of every room that Shadax has entered and indicates all the possible exits. There are four different colored magic potions, each having unique and powerful properties you can use to assist you. The purple potion destroys all moving objects in a room. Yellow potion stops time, freezing all moving objects in place. You can still move these objects by pushing them. Blue Potion gives you invincibility against enemies and moving enemy weapons. Green Potion casts a spell which makes all invisible objects suddenly appear. There are many blue hats scattered throughout the castle grounds. When Shadax picks one up, it gives him an extra life. There are many other items to enjoy. Your mission is to venture through the rooms in search of the magic keys, the magic boots, the coins, and the pieces of the Staff of Demnos. Once you've collected the sixth piece of staff, you will be rewarded handsomely. Be sure to review the magic map as it will indicate the total number of rooms you've visited and a percentage of total rooms completed in the game. Press A for your game statistics. There's people that 
CST, Emmy Sub, uh, Epic Sony Records. There was so many people put uh, something into the game, which I think is why the game is so varied and so different. So we spent a lot of time playing the game and going through it. And we found some, really some minor adjustments that uh, we wanted to make it a game, nothing really major. It was, it was a great game the way it was. One change we made, as you saw just a minute ago, the, the character, when he's invincible, when he uses a blue potion, he starts glowing. And that was a, a suggestion that Real small, it's very unusual for a game to go from America to Japan. Um, and Mr. Takahashi of Epic Sony uh, saw a game early, well, the end of last year. What was your Yes, it, uh, you know, for the first time, I saw this video game in Los Angeles, his office. Yes. And first impression, you know, looks, looks like a honey. Mm. Because, uh, uh, Different video games. I mean, uh, from you know, Japanese one, you know, and especially you know graphics and also sound. It's, it's incredible. Mm. I think it's another invasion you know, from UK or you know, from America. So it's important to do something totally original for Nintendo, something that hasn't been done before. Um, so many games seem to be. So similar on the Nintendo, that the market needs something totally new and totally new. Global video game development and marketing. England, Japan, and America. The talents of the best brains in the world were gathered for the making of Solstice. The results. A hot new puzzle adventure video game guaranteed to challenge the best Nintendo video game players worldwide. Solstice, a new game to remember. 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 Solstice.